that's it. Shit. Alright, so we just jump into questions for Kevin O'Banner and Bryson Williams. If you're gonna have a question, just raise your hand and we'll move the mic. Bryson, can you just speak to what Kevin was able to do? I know he's had his ups and downs with the scoring, but he was just kind of filling up the stat sheet, getting the rebounds offensively and kind of all those things. I mean, I, I mean, Kale, I mean, just go out there doing what he do. I mean, he's always been a very productive player. I mean, we've seen that at Oral Roberts and we've seen that in games here. Um, I mean, we just have ultimate belief in him and we knew that, I mean, he's a ticket time bomb. It's only a matter of time. I mean, he's, he can fill up points in a hurry. So uh, not surprised at all. In terms of that second half, I guess, what, what do you feel kind of helped you all finally get that scoring cushion you were looking for? Uh, I, I mean, the defensive end, really. I mean, I, I, we preach that all the time. Defense wins games, and we were able to uh, allow them to give the ball up back to us, and we were able to capitalize, uh, score points, and I was able to get us a spread. Kevin, for yourself, I know everyone kind of knew you as that three-point shooter last year, but it seems like you're kind of transforming yourself into this offensive rebounder. What what does it take to kind of get those offensive rebounds, and what, what kind of mindset did you have coming into today? Uh, it's just a winning mentality, you know. Uh, you know, none of the none of the threes that I had, you know, fell. And of course, as a shooter, who wants to miss shots? But you have to try to find a way to impact winning, you know, without you know shooting the ball. So you know, I try to just you know rebound, defend, do the little things in order for it to take to win. And you know, to God be the glory. We came out victorious. How much does it help just to kind of see the ball go in the basket when you do put it back, or just even a free throw on an and one like that for you? I mean, of course it helps. You know, uh, it just builds momentum, and it also builds the momentum from uh, our teammates to keep us going and keep the energy alive. So, you know, winning plays like that, of course, it makes players like us thrive. And then just from both of you, just to get, get the win over Iowa State, get the split of the season series. I guess how big was that for y'all, just in terms of your overall goals? Uh, it was very big for us. I mean, especially with them being the ranked number 15 in the AP polls. And uh, I mean them getting a uh, uh, getting a win from us out there and in, um, in, at their home to at their home court, that uh, was a big win for us. I mean we were really excited to be able to uh, get that rematch and um, I mean that's a really well coached and talented team. So it's it's always good to get a win on a team like that. Uh, it seems in that for either one of you guys, it seems in that second half, so many of your points came on free throws or off of offensive rebounds. How big a point of emphasis was physicality coming into this game? Oh, it was a huge emphasis. I mean, we know, I mean, we played out, playing Iowa State out there. I mean, they're a very physical team, and we know it's going to be a dogfight coming in. So, uh, we, I mean, we just knew that we had to come in and have our hard hats on, and uh, we knew we was going to have to be very physical this game and uh, take care of those, uh, those type of points and uh, be able to get, uh, take care of business. And then uh, you guys are able to sort of play some lineups where, you know, you're able to get some size out there, especially with Kevin as point guards, but then have multiple forwards out there who can handle the ball a bit. How much does sort of just the versatility of this team allow you guys to play lineups that other teams can't really match? Uh, I mean, it's a big, it's a big, it's a big advantage for this team. I mean, we always talk about how versatile we are. I mean, we got big guards, and then we got forwards that can guard guards, and we got guards that can guard bigs. So, uh, I mean, that's a big advantage for us, and we try to take advantage of that every game. I mean, that's why we just go out there and fight as hard as we can, and everybody put their talents together, and um, we go come out victorious. Hey, you guys took 11 threes in the first half and just five in the second. Was Can you talk on the emphasis just to really attack the basket? I mean, we know they were uh, kind of fouling us. They were a very aggressive team, you know, a lot of gambling. And, uh, you know, we've seen the first half, uh, a lot of the uh, three-point shots weren't falling. So, uh, you know, just it's just the IQ, you know, that we all had just to know that, you know, we got in the bonus, I think, at the 10-minute mark and just to keep attacking, keep driving because they're all going to collide in the paint. And, then, you know, just if they all collide, we go out to the kick, kick to the three and, you know, if not, try to go uh, draw a foul. Bryson, it feels like you've kind of hit your stride in the past few games, finding some consistency. What do you attribute that success to? Uh, just hard work. Just hard work and um, just uh, staying confident in my game. I mean, um, I put a lot of work into what I do. And I mean, I love this game with all my heart. So I mean, I just just going out there, staying aggressive and having teammates that believe in me and a coach that believe in me. And uh, just going out there and giving my all. And for both of y'all, you've been able to stay 11-0, perfect at home so far. What's it like playing in front of these fans? I mean, we got the. I think we've got the best fans in the country. That swag are still amazes me every time they do it. Um, I'm, I mean, just playing in front of Red Raider Nation and just those how much they support and love they give us every time we step on home court. I mean, it's, it's second to none. So. Oh no, I'm feeling the same way with that. Uh, no, the crowd was, you know, very intense. Uh, 
you know, I just love the energy, just love the way they, uh, you know, show love and support. And, you know, it means a lot, you know, especially, you know, doing a lot of traveling. And, you know, when when we get in our own heads sometimes, you know, the crowd keeps us going. They keep making us thrive. So, you know, it's, it's very enjoyable to have, you know, the fan base. How does this win set you all up to go against West Virginia here in a few days? Uh, sets us up really well. I mean, West Virginia, that's another a very aggressive team on defense. And, uh uh, well coached. I mean, they got a legend as a coach, and uh, so I mean, we just got to build on this win, uh, giving us uh, forward momentum going to that into that game, and uh, we know that they got very uh, they got talented players as well. So I mean, we just got to get back to the drawing board, get back in the lab, keep working on this defense, and uh, just go out there and win the game. Uh, Coach, it's the second team that you've played, or first team that you've played two times in the Big 12 so far this year. Obviously, you guys had the result back in Ames, but this time around, coming out and getting the win. How much of a statement of reassurance is it to you guys, especially now that you had your full roster to play a team like Iowa State? Well, it was uh, a lot um, <clears throat> more comfortable and I think easier to coach on, from my perspective. So I have a lot more tools in our toolbox to throw out there at them, and so that, that made it uh, – uh, better for me, and I thought it made us stronger on defense. We were able to keep guys fresh. I thought we played uh, one of the best defensive games we've played all year and against a great defensive team, and we talked to them before the game. This was, um, you know, two of the top teams in the country going at it toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and, and so I was excited to see our guys respond and how hard everybody played. Both you guys had 36 rebounds tonight. What makes Iowa State so tough under the boards? Uh, boy, we, we didn't uh, – early in the game, they were – uh, teaching us a lesson uh, on on getting the boards, but we uh, had a couple of serious conversations at those first few timeouts about you know blocking out, and our guys responded well. And I thought we did just a tremendous job later in the game of keeping off the boards. They're they're just relentless. They're tough. They're uh, that's one of the things they do well is block out and and on both ends of the floor and get the rebounds. And with that said, you know Kevin O'Banner just was amazing on the offensive end. I thought he was a big big. Uh, reason why we won because of how he was able not only to get the rebounds but he finished and and he was his three point uh, shot really wasn't falling but he found other ways to help us and he, we talked about that some uh, not just to rely just solely on his three point shooting so I was really proud of him uh, was there anything that you guys talked about in the locker room at halftime after you guys you know come out in the second half and score like that well, we had a lot to talk about because we had had, uh, had a lot of mistakes the first half. One of those was, was rebounding and, and the other things that were a little bit uh, uh, careless with the basketball. We thought we needed to slow down, be a little more patient, and get four or five passes. And, and I, I think that was important to us. We came out second half, had much better ball movement, and were able to take advantage of, of, um, of that. With, with the, you know, then they, with, with the team like – uh, Iowa State, they're so they're so good at uh, those first two passes, and they're a lot like we are. They get you on one side of the floors, and it's hard to get out of there. It's kind of like you know getting in a spider's web. They just they're just right on top of you. So we we try to spread it out a little bit more and and make some easy passes, and then attack. And and our guys did a good job of making that adjustment. And then another double digit performance again from Bryce Williams tonight. Yes. How has he been able to turn this corner like this and kind of play to the potential you've spoken about a lot this year? Yeah, it's great to have a have a player that's consistent like he is at scoring every game and he can score in so many different ways. I mean he took it off the off the bounce several times, just went and scored one on one, and of course he hit a big three for us and, and we all know how good he is around the basket. So uh, that certainly helped us kind of move up. Uh, and reach our potential on the offensive end, a guy like that that, that, that steps up. And we still got other guys on the team that are going to, you know, we haven't seen their, um, uh, you know, what they can really do and, and, and their potential yet. And T.J. Shannon's one of those. He's just, you know, I know we're still kind of waiting for him to get out of the gate, but he's, he hadn't played in a long time, and I think he's trying to, uh, he's putting too much pressure on himself right now. But made some good, nice plays on defense, and he's working hard to, do, to get better.
Coach, I'll continue to deliver at home, still undefeated here. What does that say about this team and this, this crowd? And yeah, this well, it says a lot about our crowd. Our student body was just, it was just amazing, and it makes my job so much easier when those guys come out and, and um, look around and see a packed house. And, and uh, yeah, this, this is an amazing arena to play in, and our guys just loved it, and they responded to the crowd. And, and I just can't say enough and how much I appreciate the support we're getting from Red Raider Nation. Looking at the stat sheet, what was kind of the biggest thing that stuck out to you that helped lead to this win? Well, you know, being a defensive guy, I looked at the on the defensive end. We held them to, I think, around 36%. So I was really proud of that. We kind of, you know, um, had some slippage the last three or four minutes. But I th other than that, I thought it was just a, a great <laughs> performance for guys on defense. Uh, Coach, could you talk about um, your ability to pressure on the perimeter tonight? It looked like you were kind of overplaying passing lanes and kind of pushed them further out onto the court offensively than maybe they were comfortable with? Well, you know, that's what we try to do, Joe. We try to make uh, every team uncomfortable. But with Iowa State, uh, not only are they really good on defense, but they have a um, an offensive scheme that they're just constantly moving, and they use their high post a lot and, and doing ball screens and handoffs. and. We just couldn't let them kind of get in rhythm. So we were trying to pressure them and, and then and deny some of those uh, easy passes so they had to, so it could slow them down. And so and we, and we were able to do that, uh, I thought, pretty well even at their place and kept the same game plan here at home. And uh, although all this, this was obviously an extremely good win for you, but uh, uh, you couldn't have been too pleased with the way the back end of the bench finished out the game. <laughs> no, and, and you know, you have to understand they're, they're out there trying as hard as they can. They don't get a lot of minutes. <laughs> they're playing in front, you know, 15,000 people and and uh, probably, you know, they're, they're a little bit uh, under pressure there and want to do well. And and so I, that's a tough tough place to be in. But but they were playing hard. Yeah, I wasn't, we were disappointed in some of the, uh, the, at least the defensive ever, but some of those guys. But. Um, you know, it was a, overall it was a great team win, though. Those guys are, that came off the bench are great team players and, and encouraging our guys all through the game at halftime. And, you know, it's just, uh, win, you know, win or lose this team. We're still the same team as we were last week against K-State. Love these guys. I uh, love their camaraderie, uh, the way they trust each other, believe in each other. And, and this team's got a lot of character. So I'll, I'll uh, continue saying that, win or lose. Mark, you guys took 11 threes in the first half and only five in the second. Did you specifically?